continuing, we've got High Level versus ClickFunnels 2.0 Membership Edition. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal. Stay with me. We're going to break them both down. Okay, membership areas, very powerful, wonderful to have as an all-in-one. Don't have to go and purchase another piece of software that can run you hundreds of dollars a month, depending on how many students or courses you have. So ClickFunnels is bringing in their membership area. They always did have one, but it is expanding. And of course, High Level has their membership area included in theirs as well. So Breaking down the pricing, high level is still $97 for the unlimited everything. And for ClickFunnels, we're looking at the minimum, the basic is a thousand students. So they're starting to limit what is possible within the platform. But if you've got a thousand students, you can probably afford to go up to the next couple of levels, right? And I break down the pricing in the blog post that's attached. Let's go into the editors of both of them and let's take a look around. First up, ClickFunnels. And I'll admit, I'm new to ClickFunnels, so I'm struggling a little bit in the editor. I found it very complicated as opposed to high level, but it could very well be just because I haven't used it. So if you see me fumbling, that's the real time. Let's jump. Okay, so ClickFunnels offers a site, one website on the first plan and the second plan, and then on the third plan, you get three. So included in that is where the courses are being housed. So if I preview my site here, there's supposed to be a menu bar. I think I got rid of it. So on the menu bar, you would be able to see blog and courses, etc. So it's on that menu bar. That's how everyone is going to get access to that. And then when we take a look at the sites, we can see here courses. So I believe I'm allowed to have unlimited courses, but I'm limited to those thousand students. So when I want to create a new course, I get to choose and it's very similar to the same as the go high level one, but it gives me the ability to change the path for this one. I've got a theme and a thumbnail, very similar. And I'm going to go ahead and create that course. And what they have is a little bit more of a dynamic sections for the course and for the modules and for the lessons. And that's where I'm stumbling just a little bit, but I can go ahead and publish this course here very quickly and easily. And available at, it's asking me for a date. So let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go into the settings of this course. You can see there's a few more possibilities here and I've got a thumbnail image. I can choose my style. And then here's where I can choose the templates that are also where we're going to dig in a little bit more as and see these as well okay to edit my first course i'm going to click on course and then here i'm able to add in my modules and add in my lessons as well so we add in a new module and we've got the description i can add in an image etc and I can also expand the advanced settings. I can add in some more templates. So they give you the ability to, from what I understand, add in the template for each part. So I've got seven modules and I've got 18 lessons. So you can see there that there was the ability to publish, drip, or lock it. So very powerful. Let's go in ahead and hit publish. And I'm going to schedule this one and I can auto enroll or I can send auto enrollment no email notifications. So those are really powerful. So you can see that this gets a little bit, I'm kind of swirling a little bit in circles. And again, because I am not a hundred percent sure myself how to go about adding all of these things in. So I've got my modules and then we want to go and try to add in a lesson. So let's go do that. So we've got some lessons here and then I can edit these. So here's where we can see our thumbnail, our audio and our video. And then you can also see that I've got a URL for this. One of the things that I loved about that I love about ClickFunnels is that you can add in an audio in high level. We don't have that possibility and you can upload a video right into the members area. So you do not need to have Vimeo or Wistia for this. 
So that's really powerful and I can go ahead and I can update the lesson. Now, when we start to get into customizing, this is where I was jumping around a little bit because I could add in templates for my modules and for my lessons, and I can also add in the course template as well. So if I come to this here, from what I understand, I've got a lot because I was playing for a little bit, but you go ahead and you make sure because I'm under module that I'm going to add in an element that is a course module element. I must select these and the same is for the lesson page. This is going to be dynamic replaced with the information that I upload into the lesson section, but I have to also be careful that I'm choosing lesson pieces when I'm in here. So this has to be a lesson title. It cannot be a just a regular element. It must be a course element. So something to be very careful of. And then what I do is I can go ahead and add these pieces in. So I'm not going to go through all of this for you. You can kind of get an idea what we're looking at here. And it is a, I think once you get a hold of it, I think it's going to be okay. However, I do find it a little bit uh, kind of got a loop-de-loop -loop to it as opposed, and maybe once you get a theme set, it, it's better. So let's now jump over into high level. High level, you're going to see courses under sites, membership, and you can see we've got a dashboard. We've got products, offers, analytics, and settings. So I really like that I can see all of this in one place. I'm going to go in and create a product, and then I turn it into an offer where I can add in more than one product into an offer. And very quickly, you can see here are my details for the course where I'm going to add in that name and the description and the thumbnail, etc., like we saw with ClickFunnels. So very similar. And I can also add in some instructor here and logo, and I can also add in some custom code and things as well. I can customize it with the three themes that we have currently. And I can also create an offer and I can add in and manage the comments in here as well. So the members area does have comments. And the other thing that it has as well is the ability to add in lessons, subcategories, or I can put in an assessment, which is like a quiz. So that capability is very powerful. If we come into a blank post, here's what I have available to me for each one. As I mentioned, I don't have the podcast slash audio one. So very interesting with ClickFunnels, love that. But here I'm able to individually add files, images, video, and any text that I may need. And if I need to embed anything like I have here, I can go ahead and do that. Then what I'm gonna do is just make sure it's published and I'm gonna hit save. So it's very easy and quick. I'm gonna go through module, 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 and those themes and the way that it's laid out is based on the theme that I chose. I also have analytics, so I can see how people have progressed through and some assessments. And my settings, here's where I also really love this, is that I can add in a custom domain for my members area. I can set up those email settings really quickly and what that email goes that goes out looks like. I can also have my site details for the SEO. And there is also an app for the membership area that I'm able to customize and have very much, I think, the capability of what you would see with other membership areas where you're able to view this on mobile. Very nice. So I think, again, with the membership, I think High Level does win. The automations that come off the back of it, I think, are very similar to ClickFunnels, but I've given you a bit of an idea of what it looks like. And if we do a quick preview, let's jump over and have a look. I can preview here. And once I customize this a little bit more, I can make all of these changes. And then inside of ClickFunnels, this is what we've got so far, again, with no customization. So very similar. They look good. What are your thoughts? Members area, which one would you like to choose? Let me know down below. And if you need any help, you know how to reach me. Talk soon.